Blessings in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. This here is Evangelist Terry Shepherd coming before you on this wonderful day. Bring him before you a thought that God has laid on my heart. About a lot of churches are teaching God's grace. In essence, is a license to sin. Well, my friend, I want to bring before you what the Word of God says about the grace of God. In the book of Romans, chapter number 6, beginning at the first verse, the Bible says, What shall we say then? Shall we continue in sin, that grace may abound? God forbid. How shall we, that are dead, in, dead to sin, live any longer therein? My friend, did you catch that? Uh, in the first verse, the Bible says, What shall we say then? Shall we continue in sin that grace may abound? Notice what verse 2 says. God forbid. How shall we that are dead to sin live any longer therein? Question mark. That's a question. Pa Apostle Paul was teaching my friend there that about the grace of God. Now, my friend, once you're saved by grace through faith, my friend, you you walk in a newness of life, my friend. My friend, notice what it goes on to say. Know ye not that so many of us as were baptized into Jesus Christ were baptized into his death. Therefore, we are buried with him by baptism in the dead, that like as Christ was raised up from the dead by the glory of the Father, even so, even we also should walk in newness of life. My friend, I, I want to stop right there, my friend. Notice the Bible says that, that when we're baptized into Christ, uh, my friend, uh, and we, we, we begin to walk in a newness of life, we, also, we should walk in a newness of life. Behold, old things have passed away. Behold, all of our old desires back when we was out in sin, lost without God, Behold, all that's passed away, my friend, and behold, all things have become new. My friend, we have a new outlook on life. We we don't want to go out there and drink and party it up. But when we're having a bad day, we, we don't want to go out here and seek some pleasure out here in the world. But, but my friend, we go straight to God. And my friend, God said, my grace is sufficient for you. That means my grace is is enough for you. My grace is all you need today. If you're having a bad day, my friend, cast all your cares upon him, my friend, for he careth for you. Take all your burdens to Jesus Christ, my friend, because his grace is sufficient for you. But my friend, today I, I'm just letting the Holy Spirit speak through me. I believe that the Holy Spirit is speaking to somebody else out there, my friend that might be going to a church where they're teaching uh, God's grace is a license to sin. See, a lot of people use God's grace as a crutch. But my friend, we ought not use, do it that use God's grace that way. My friend, because Jesus Christ paid the price for your sin and for my sin. And my friend, it's through grace that we're saved, not of not of works, lest any man should boast. It's nothing that I could I could done to save myself. It's nothing that you can do within your flesh to save yourself. But my friend, it's through through the grace of God, my friend, that you're saved, my friend, but today, once you're saved by grace, my friend, you, you will not have the desire to go out here and drink, or go out here and, and try to find a prostitute, or go out here and, and, and commit sin, and go out here and swear and cuss, and, and say, say dirty jokes, my friend, but all that's passed away, you see, you 
Jesus Christ gives us a, a desire to have love for the, the one, those around us. And, and my friend, be kind to those around us. And my friend, uh, trust Him, my friend, and walk in, a, in that newness of life. But my friend, be all old things have, are gone, my friend. Don't dwell in the past, my friend. Can I tell you all, sinners has a past to hold, but my friend, when you accept the great the greatest gift uh, my friend of Jesus Christ my friend as your personal savior uh, my friend you have a bright future today uh, don't worry about what man thinks about you or what don't try to please man but please God we have a lot of man pleasers out in the world but my friend God's grace is sufficient for you today my friend God is the only one that you'll answer to my friend at the end my friend and that, that's all that'll matter today are you walking in that newness of life are, are you leaning dwelling on the past or are are you dwelling on Jesus Christ, my friend, the author and finisher of our faith? Uh, my friend, God's grace is not a license to sin. God forbid, God forbids that. Uh, Apostle Paul said, God forbid. How shall we that are dead to sin live any longer therein? That means Paul was saying you can't. God forbids that, that kind of outlook on God's grace my friend we cannot use God's grace my friend as a license to sin that 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 displeases God and if you're in a church that's teaching that doctrine my friend that my friend you need to get away from it my friend and get in a good Bible teaching church my friend that teaches the King James Version Bible my friend, and hold true to the Word of God today. My good friend, God's grace is sufficient for you. You can walk in a newness of life today. My friend, maybe you're out there and you don't know Jesus Christ as your personal Savior. My friend, that that's my number one desire for coming on here my friend coming before you each and every day i love you and i, and I want to preach and teach you the truth of the gospel today my friend I, I want to reach out to you that may be hurting and may not know about jesus christ my friend jesus christ is a friend That'll stick closer than any brother. He'll stick closer than anybody. My friend, when troubles comes and trials comes, and my friend, you have someone that you can go to. He's up there seated on the throne on the right hand of the power of God, my friend, making intercession for you. My friend, today God's grace is sufficient for you. My friend, today I want you to know I love you, but most of all, Jesus Christ loves you. He died on the road rugged cross of Calvary for your sin and for my sin. So that we might, so that we can walk in that newness of life. Found only through Jesus Christ. Not found in this world or found in the Pope, my friend. We, you go, if you're confessing your sins to a Pope, you're confessing your sins to a, a man that's full of sin. My friend, but confess your sins to Jesus Christ and he's faithful and just to forgive us of all of our sins. Praise God today. I hope this little message that God laid on my heart was a blessing and an encouragement to you out there. God loves you. Remember that. God, God sent His only begotten Son that whosoever believeth in Him shall not perish but have everlasting life. You can have life today and life more abundantly 
in Jesus Christ. You can have peace that surpasses all understanding that's found through Jesus Christ today. Well, may God bless you. I hope each and every one of you has a blessed day. Remember to go on over to my good friend and brother, Lee, Lee Gerard's channel, The Lamb's Garden. You'll, be, you'll hear the true word of God taught over there. Go on over and check out my good friend and brother, Ev Evangelist Brian Lester's channel. And, feel, and if you find my blessings, or my, I'm getting tongue-tied. If you find my videos an encouragement and a blessing, feel, please like, subscribe, and check back often. Until next time, this is Evangelist Terry Shepherd saying I love you. God, Jesus Christ loves you. Have a blessed day.